Hi, I am Kyla Woodard, the social work intern for Early Childhood Connections. I am a senior at the Ogallala Lakota College, working toward my bachelor's degree. One of the projects that I choose to work on during my internship was building awareness in the community about child abuse and neglect. Since April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, I would like to take this opportunity to share some information with you. South Dakota state law defines an abused or ne neglected child as a child whose parent, guardian, or custodian has abandoned the child or has subjected the child to mistreatment of abuse, failed or refused to provide proper or necessary subsistence, supervision, education, medical care, or any other care necessary for the child's health, guidance, or well-being. Subjected the child to sexual abuse, molestation, or exploitation, or by their acts of omissions resulted in the child lacking proper prenatal care. A child whose environment is injurious to the child's safety and well-being, a child who is threatened with substantial harm, a child who is homeless without proper care or not domiciled with the child's parent, guardian, or custodian through no fault of the child's parent, guardian, or custodian. A child who sustained emotional harm or mental injury as indicated by an injury to the child's intellectual or psychological capacity evidenced by an observable and substantial impairment in the child's ability to function within the child's normal range of performance and behavior with due regard to the child's culture. Or a child who is subject to prenatal exposure to abusive use of alcohol, marijuana, or any controlled drug or substance not lawfully prescribed by a practitioner. Or a child whose parent guardian or custodian knowingly exposes the child to an environment being used for manufacture, use, or a distribution of methamphetamines or any other unlawfully manufactured controlled drug or substance. While child abuse and neglect almost always occurs within the family, the impact does not end there. Society as a whole pays a price for child abuse and neglect in terms of both direct and indirect costs. During the past several years, the blue ribbon has been widely recognized as a national symbol of child abuse awareness. This movement began in the spring of 1989 when a concerned grandmother, Bonnie Finney, took a stand against child abuse after experiencing the death of her grandson. She tied a symbolic blue ribbon to her van as a signal to her community of her personal commitment to involve everyone in the battle to stop child abuse. Why the color blue? Bonnie Finney said, I never intend to forget the battered, bruised bodies of my grandchildren. Bruises are black, then eventually blue. The spirit of her blue ribbon has grown and the blue ribbon now symbolizes the more than 3.2 million abused children reported each year to Child Protective Services. The child maltreatment report produced by the Federal Department of Health and Human Services, Children's Bureau of Federal Fiscal Year 2014 states a national estima estimation of 1,580 children died from abuse and neglect. South Dakota statistics for state fiscal year 2015 reported cases. 2,443 reports were assigned involving 4,493 children. Substantiated reports involved 1,023 children. Substantiated maltreatment type by children, 114 victims of physical abuse, 946 victims of physical neglect, 34 victims of sexual abuse, and 11 victims of emotional maltreatment. If you suspect that a child is being abused, please call 1-877-244-0864 for information regarding mandatory reporting 
visit www.dss.sd.gov. If you would like further information regarding child abuse and tips on prevention, go to the link below. Please join the fight against child abuse and wear a blue ribbon during the month of April. Give one to your friends. Tell them what it means. You may make a difference in a child's life. Thanks for watching and join us again next month.